I'd like to call to order the work session on May 7th, 2018. It's now 5 o'clock. We are all present. Welcome back, Bill. So we only have one item at 3.1. We'll uh, provide council with several options for a disposition of the four city-owned facilities at the Litchfield Road at Western Avenue and request uh, for policy direction. Now, please refrain once more, council, until the presentation is completed. Dan, you have the floor. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Um, I have the pleasure tonight to introduce the subject, um, some city-owned properties that we have at the corner of Litchfield and Western Avenue. These properties are no longer in operational use by the city and are at the point in their life cycle we're seeking direction on what Council would like to do with them. So at the end of the night, we're hoping to have clear um, direction on, on what that is. For review and for those who might be watching at home, the four facilities are listed here by the most recent use. So we've got the old squad room, which is in the upper left corner there with the number one. Number two is the old 911 facility in the upper right. In the middle, we have Old City Hall. And then at the bottom, the red brick building um, listed as old evidence is the one fronting Western Avenue. And so the, these um, buildings were brought to council uh, last year for direction on what to do. We looked at a number of different options, including leasing them to nonprofits, uh, selling them, holding on to them for some potential future use, possibly demolishing them, creating some either parking and or some green space, and then some combination thereof. And at that time, council directed staff to get appraisals on the facilities and to bring that back to help you with your decision making. And so tonight we have the results of that and we'll go through that with you. Um, you'll see here that the top three facilities were appraised as one unit. And I'll show you on the next slide why that is. Um, but essentially we're looking at $525,000 for those three facilities and then $200,000 for the Western Avenue facing uh, red brick building, also known as the old evidence facility. And this slide at the top, you'll see outlined in blue with like some lines striking through it. Those are the parcel lines. And so you'll see that the one facility there straddles all three parcels and uh, that and the parking allocation kind of made it difficult to appraise those individually. So that's why we have the one uh, number. And then down in the bottom right in yellow is the Western Avenue property um, or old evidence facility. And you can see um, the line for that. Uh, and that's the $200,000 appraised parcel. So there's a lot of options in front of you. And we wanted to at least bring a recommendation to you to consider tonight. And regardless of direction, we'll be happy to implement it. But we have an idea that we're sort of excited about. Uh, we think that this hybrid approach that we're presenting will really potentially create um, sort of a beautiful entrance into the corridor uh, with some green space along the Litchfield side of things. It would um, start with selling the old evidence facility we think that's the most uh, marketable facility. It would be in line with the other private businesses that are there on Western Avenue. We, we have had interest from at least one um, potential buyer in that. So we think if we open that up, that, that that would sell. And then we'd also recommend tearing down the old city hall and the old squad uh, room facilities, which could be used to then create green space as well as some public parking, which could really open up some potential uses on those Western Avenue uh, buildings that today might be hindered by parking. And so um, in addition to that, we're recommending holding on to what was the old 911 building and a couple reasons for that. One is it seems to have the most history uh, with the city. It, um, in our research, and I, I have a photo here I can show you, but it was the original fire station there is a time capsule out front that is not due to be dug up until 2021. Um, but in my research, it also appears that that facility was the original town hall. 
um, from about 46 to 77. Um, and I don't know, it would give us some time to think about what to do with that facility. Perhaps it's a museum, perhaps it's restored, um, but it would give us a, some time to, to figure out best use for that. Laney, I don't know if you can pull up Elmo. So this is, I'm sorry, this is a photo that is on the wall at City Hall um, between sort of the, the mayor's office and the attorney's office along there. And so this is a photo of what that facility looked like uh, years ago, um, just for context. So I just wanted to share that with you. I didn't know that that had been the town hall uh, previously. So if you would go back. So really, eight slides. Um, the whole point tonight is to hear your, your feedback, your comments, hopefully answer questions. I have a number of folks behind me who have all the depth if we want to get into any particular areas. Um, but we think this, this hybrid solution that we've put in front of you um, really could open up some options in the area. Um, we certainly want to um, take con you know, consideration of the neighborhood, um, their concerns, and to make sure that we give it the best opportunity to kind of um, be vibrant and uh, look nice and, and have a uh, lot, you know, a, a well-meaning uh, use there. So with that, um, kind of open it up for discussion and questions. Good, let's start the conversation. Sherry? Ah, I don't know if this is more an emotional, you know, because because I, I do like the idea of first of all the the easy one for me is is selling the old um, which one the evidence right the one in the front I'm I'm okay with that that's I think that would be great uh, the rest of them sit there they they all look so historic to me and I don't know if there's a way you can save the ones that face the road and just get rid of the one in the back or I don't know what people's thoughts are but I would I like the museum idea. We don't have any history here. I hate to raise all of them. I don't know. That's just kind of my thoughts. Joanne? Thank you. Can you, okay, so can you go to the other slide that gives kind of the um, outline? Yeah. The map? Correct. Yeah. Okay, so from this view, I'm not sure which one is the old 9 1. Is know. that the one, one right, right there? Okay, that's yeah. what I thought. All right, I just wanted to make sure. So, uh, first of all, I'm in agreement with, with Sherry. I think that, you know, selling uh, the one closest over here makes a lot of sense. I think there's um, great usage for that. And um, I know we've all gone back and forth of do we, you know, how much money needs to go into these buildings? How safe are these buildings? Um, if we were to go ahead and save the old 911 building, what's it going to cost to take care of that because I don't recall if that one is full of bad things or not. I don't remember. And um, if we go down the line, which I may be gone by the time you guys come back to make a full decision. I know this is a work session, but um, for historic value and purpose, we don't have a lot of, of this kind of um, places to say, hang our hat on that this, this was the beginnings of Goodyear. And certain things are key to this in its history, the fire station, the town hall, what had been city hall at one time in this area, not, you know. Um, and so if it is that you just save the one building, let's just, just hypothetically, you save that, then I think that markers have to be put in place and that needs to be part of the budget when you talk about what do we do with the money for these things. Not only there should be a marker saying this had been the area of the first city hall, that um, one building was the very beginnings of the Boy Scouts out here. And I know that is historic, and I know many people in Litchfield Park will feel very strongly about that. That's another thing that needs to be addressed of historic markings of this was the original Boy Scout troop, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's just some, some key elements to this. And so, uh, actually, it was the, uh, it was the um, City Hall building. Mm -hmm. um, At the top? Yes. So, so we either talk, the that one, that's, that's not even part of the saving. And so that's why I say that, you know, if these go, there still needs to be emphasis 
given to the historic area. Um, we're back to, so I, I appreciate this presentation, but now it's back to remembering, okay, what does it mean price-wise on some of these things? And I look forward to hearing from others about it. Brandon? So yeah, I'm, I'm on board with selling the one that's on Western. I think that's, I think that's good. And I, do, I do like Sherry's hybrid idea of getting rid of the, the building in the back there. Is that the old the jail? Yeah, that one to allow more parking. But I, I do like the idea of keeping the 911 center. And I'm not sure about the one that's on, is that old city hall facing Litchfield? I hate to lose control of what, of what we would like to be there in the future for that area if we ever decide to redevelop it that shopping center across the street ever ever goes and we want to make a mark in that area because i see litchfield as as more of our i mean our redistricting or our uh, our uh, our main street of the, of the city so i'd hate to get rid of those facing or at least lose control of it maybe it, maybe it's a lease option for now mm -hmm. but um but i do appreciate needing more parking so I, i'd be okay getting rid of the the uh the, the jail on the back there and all the police evidence I believe is like back there too Joe yeah I don't have any problem selling the building on Western but I come from maybe a little different different angle I'm wondering if we've ever looked at um, uh, maybe we did I just don't remember it uh, packaging the other piece to get somebody who would come in and actually redevelop it and uh, something that would actually add to drawing people down there to um, Western Avenue, you know, type of thing or that area because it's it would be nice, but you'd have to see the proposals and see if you're if if the rest was all willing to to see what that proposal would happen to be. Uh, I do like the fact of maybe saving something there for um, a museum. I know that was our first fire station and one of those pieces there. Maybe you could turn it into a museum, but. You know, I, I like to see, it. you know, my concern would be the cost to go back in there and make it for the entire thing to be a museum, only because you've got the asbestos, you've got a variety of things you've got to do, so you're going to sink more money into something because you've got to make sure it's safe enough that you can bring the public from the outside in there to walk through these buildings, all right? So, again, if somebody, if it could be packaged to turn it into something like an economic engine in that area and somebody's willing to put something a positive in there, um, I'd be willing to look at that. Yeah. You know, from, I'm not even sure where to start. Um, I suggested when we first hit, we had this very first conversation to tear it all down. And um, the, uh, the historic value of the uh, old fire station, you know, that um, the recommendation, I'm fine with the entire recommendation. Let me just say that clearly. Um, Selling the one piece of property on Western Avenue, tearing the rest down, um, much like Joe, um, I think those those facilities are going to be more costly to maintain than they are going to be of value later on. I guess to my other council counterparts who said we'd like to keep them, maybe we can do something historic with them. I guess I would just say, and what do you do with it in the meantime? And um, if we have the ability to create some parking, some green space, make that, I don't want to say area more attractive, but right now that whole picture is our main street. That's it. Everything farther south from there on the other side of the park is, um, is Avondale. And across the street is the, the, the Goodyear tire, tire shop and then what used to be the old hardware store and the old uh, public works facility, which I think is still our lay down, uh, lay down yard. Correct. Um, and after that, it all becomes the city of Avondale. So really, what, what are we trying to preserve, I guess, is, is, I, is the question I want to ask is, what is it that we're trying to accomplish? Because if we can raise that area and maybe someone else later on comes by and says, you know what? I'd like to buy this because I can do X with it. Then that's great. But if there's buildings there, no one will ever look at it. Um, so I'm in full support of the recommendation to sell the one property, 
um, if staff thinks that there's some value in the the uh, old fire station, then you know keep that. But I'm for raising the rest and um, turning it into something attractive down down in that area. Thank you, Wally. Well, I want to remind council that we have the Litchfield train station sitting empty because no one will do anything with it. And we have a foundation in place to raise money. And we want it as a museum, and it's three times or four times the size of that city hall fire station. It's just sitting in the back of Public Works, waiting for a home for the city to get us a, a acreage somewhere. And we've been asking for nine years for a space. Um, I don't know that it would go there because we can't. Now, let me think. That's... Is that south of the of I-10? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we can't go under the underpass with that anywhere. So it has it has to be housed in in south of I-10 because it's tall, and once you get it on the mover things, it makes it too tall. Um, but I know um, the broken record is that I wanted to put All Faith in there because All Faith is is actively trying to find a home. Um, but apparently the council is not uh, in agreement with that. I am not in agreement. I either want to sell all the property and get the $525,000 out of it and do something with it, or I want the city to plan something with it and then go after CBDG funds to redo that, which we could do if we had a plan, but we've got to know what we want to do with it. Even Bill, even if we bulldoze it and we make it a green area, it may look pretty in that one area, but it's not going to make the whole neighborhood look gorgeous. And it's not going to make across the street look any better than it looks because it's such an unusual, uh, we have unusual landscape on that street. And um, as far as Western Avenue goes, it's fine to sell that building, hopefully, or really, I would have hoped we would have sold that building a long time ago if we don't have, if we don't have a use for it. Opening up parking behind Western Avenue isn't going to give Western Avenue any really more parking because no one's going to know to park back there, truthfully. Um, but whatever all the council wants to do is fine. I just I think if, if they're saying we can make $700,000 on the property, let's see if we can sell it. Okay. Because uh, we, we don't have money to, or we'll have to fund to bulldoze it, so I don't know how much that costs. I'm going to ask, oh, can I talk next, and then I'll let you ask the question. Okay. Uh, I'm absolutely for the recommendation. There is no parking there uh, that makes it very difficult. And um, I don't think that it causes an eyesore to take it down. I think it's going to improve the look of it. And I think the building on Western Avenue is valuable. I think there would be a chance that since we have the one store, we have a boxing, and then we have the patio shop. So I do feel that there's a possibility. And the problem was, is and has been for that street, is parking. And that's why we were hoping that we could get the land across the street where the hardware store was at one time. So I'm not against, uh, you know, hold on the old fire station slash city hall slash whatever it's been. Um, and we do have a historical society. And they're looking for a place to put something, and it's a very active now historical society. So it would fit in with that, and they could put all the history of Goodyear in there. And we have lots of things in the city hall and things that we could get from other sources and put in there. Um, so that's that's my recommendation. That's what I feel would give us the uh, the greatest presentation of doing what we're talking about. So, uh, Bill, go ahead. So, Wally, I guess I'm confused by the train station comment. It has to stay south of I-10. Yeah. Okay. Because it's too tall. It's too tall to go under the highway. Yeah. But it has to stay, so it already is south of I-10. Yeah, it's in our public works. And this is so. south of I-10. Yeah. How much land do we need for that? And is the location for the train station, if you raise those other three buildings besides the 911, leaving the 911 center, raise the other three, 
red roofed buildings on the picture if we raise those is there is there room for the train station to be located there there is but with parking we have to see about parking because it yeah, would be know. an open museum yeah i don't know how big it is so i forgot um is xavier do you know how big it is i forgot i should know this i too big yeah it's, it's what Okay, I don't remember. I'm sorry. It's been too many years. I've been inside of it, but okay. not in a long time. So just to piggyback on that, I would not have any objection if we raised those three and we look and then we started to explore what to do with the train station if that becomes the location for it, assuming that we have parking because that's the whole point that's of, the whole point of the it doesn't do us any good to have any museums at all there it's, whether it's you, a fire station or not if you can't get there and park on the street will park behind they'll use if we place a parking yeah. lot anywhere in there they will park there they've been parking for years in the alleyway any place you can find there people have been parking yes so if if we raise those three buildings does that rezone that to only parking then does that become parking forever i guess does that make sense could, will that, will that parcel? If someone did come, like to Joe's point, if a developer or somebody came around, and said, hey, we want to build something amazing right there. It's a parking lot now. Could that still? We just well, rezone I, that, or I'm assuming that if whatever, just talk about rezoning. If somebody came in and wanted to do something, it would come before us. So this this That'd parcel be, or property currently is on PAD, and it has very specific uses and some okay. restrictions Thank on you. use. Uh, it, that could go through the update process like anything. Yeah, like any other. All right. Okay. So, I just want to handcuff us, that's all. Sounds like I'm good now. Joanne? Well, you certainly don't want to move. <clears throat> well, if you, if you were to um, get rid of those three buildings, and um, that, first of all, it, has the neighborhood been asked at all? I mean, was there any, any kind of conversation with HOA or anything like that in this area? Just... I'm just out of curiosity because it was not a public okay. outreach on this. All right. So if you were to um, get rid of those three buildings, and I mean, if obviously you're not going to bring that train station over there if there's ever any thought of a future letting somebody else do something with it. I mean, we already know, and I know you know, remember, Wally, it was expensive to move that thing. So when it finally gets moved, it needs to be in its forever home. For the, for the end of it and not something that we allow. The, and, and if that was the, the actual road that you decided to take, would there be a possibility? Um, because you could get rid of those three buildings and I don't, re, I don't believe that that train station's much larger than, than that corner what was City Hall. So I mean, you have, you think it's bigger than what was? You still okay. have parking. But, but those other two buildings are gone. The other two buildings are gone. There, there would be parking in there. You, you could have grass in there. It, and then I wonder if this would be an area that would be worthy of like a, a historic zoning within that corner, just as protection. That's just, I'm just thinking future, if that's the way to go. But you can't, you know, it's, it's either that or you leave it open for someone else coming in to redevelop and you don't put the train station there. I mean, that's really. Um, so we. Uh, really got nowhere on recommendations <laughs> is what I'm feeling from most of yeah, in here. I, okay, so can we all agree on this? Let's talk about the parking. Just the parking. Okay, so if we bring a 5013C in, so that they, how many cars do you think they'd have? I mean, you have to think that. And then, and then you've got a, a very active boxing company there on the corner. They're very active. They have a lot of people looking for parking spaces. Um, you've got a patio shop now on Western. They seem to be able to making it. All right, so what? whatever we put on the property we're going to take down, and we did agree the last time that the cost of revamping those buildings wasn't worth it. Isn't that? Everybody got to remember that? Oh, it was All right, so we, we know that. So so to revamp those, we're kind of throwing money away where we need money for other things and some of our projects that we want to do. Yes, Joanne. I have a question just of legality. Rourke, so if you were to take those down and, be, and it became par parking to help this other corner businesses, 
is that a gifting? I mean, I don't understand. How does that work then? No, I, I, I don't. I don't think, believe it's going to fall under the gifting. We looked at that. It's providing public parking. Uh, so it's just public parking. Not, and not even for any specific. Use it's just a yeah. public parking okay. lot. Right. Whoever is doing business around that street can go there and park. And Mayor, if I may, just to comment on the parking. So this is an active issue that the city gets contacted about to deal with. On the, if you'll see this little property down here in the right-hand corner, they are they have no assigned parking. You'll see that this parking that they probably use is within the city's uh, area. Um, the patio facility you can see the limited parking available to them that tends to end up over here on the city property as well so we um, have had that since 2005 since i've been on this council. ongoing it, challenge it, every time we've done gone to something about uh, on western avenue and we had a couple of well i toured uh, with a couple of businesses we're looking to possibly bring a restaurant there on that corner and by the time they looked at the study of it and the parking and they tried to see if across the street would do share parking with them. And at that time, it wasn't a possibility. So parking, you're absolutely right in your analysis. That parking and is that's a problem. assuming all the city facilities are vacant, which they are, and the parking is open. Right, right. Yes, Sherry. Because um, when we're talking about parking, I think what we're saying is if, if let's say we move the train station there, we're building the top building. That top Up building here. Right there. Building that that's a pretty good view. Look how tiny the car is. I mean, it looks like they could do a lot of things if they can get there. I, I would have to see uh, a diagram, a study, uh, something. Yeah, I'm just trying to exactly. visualize. I, I I don't visualize that with the size of the train station. And as I remember, Wally, the idea of the train station was supposed to be sort of a park like too so children can come and play. And we even talked about a train set a part of a train sitting there. And so the the what we're looking at, well why would we want to do a half job at that and, and move that train station and then have to move it again, which we probably wouldn't do because can't of the move cost. it. Once the train station is there moved, it's there because it has to be put on the concrete slab and plumbed and everything. You can't move it. So, in my opinion, that you're better off just letting that stay until we can figure that out where to place that and concentrate on this piece. Um, and I, I do not see the historical tie to those buildings from the people. I, I do think that maybe the, the old city hall, fire, fire hall, that, all of that, that building might have it. The other is not. I hear from that neighborhood, can we clean things up? Can we make it nicer? Can we add something to it? If I hear anything from historical Goodyear, those are the comments I get. Um, so I think they were real pleased that the store went in on Western. I think you've probably all heard that from people that just felt that was a real good move. So um, I think if, in my view, if we take it down, then we know because we're taking it down that we are responsible to make that area look nice until whatever happens to it. If somebody buys it, a business wants, or a business there wants to expand right there in the corner, I don't know. But um, it's, we still have the possibility uh, if we tear everything down, if something comes on, we're selling it. Joanne? So what's, what's the price of of tearing the three down and a plan of, you said a green space, which, you know, what does that mean? What are we looking at to do all this? So we would go through the evaluation process to understand the scope and then cost it out. So I can give you an order of magnitude on what it would cost to take the buildings down, deal with the remediation of like the asbestos issues that we're dealing with there. And, um, just creating a parking lot, right? To, and, and a little minimal green space. We were in the order of magnitude of about $500,000 to do all of that. And the green space? What? Yes. I don't want to just see a parking it lot. It depends there. on you what the to... green space means, right? So we would have to really scope that out appropriately. Um, you know, likely we would be looking 
at this uh, area up here mm -hmm. running uh, Litchfield. Um, we would have to work with a engineering to make sure you know we have all the code there for parking lots, lighting, um, et cetera. So um, we have had engineering take a look at it to tear the buildings down, deal with the environmental issues, and create a parking lot or about half a million dollars. So the, depending on how much green space that is and what that definition is, you know that'll that'll go up or down depending. Julie, you have something? If I could just clarify, Dan, is that before or after the two hundred thousand dollar offset from selling? Oh, I'm Western? sorry, that does not include the offset of uh, revenue we would receive from selling the Western Avenue facility. Wally, so if we spend a half a million dollars to clear the land and someone comes in, we can't sell it to them for half a million. Well, I guess we could and break even. We're not going to make any money on it. To me, it's a losing proposition. I don't know how anybody can say that. Yeah. You, you can't say you're going to lose them. We are not in a position to be able to say that statement you just made. Well, uh, because once it's cleared and the value, I, I was shocked at the value that got on the buildings, and most of that was land. I'm sure most of it was land. It certainly wasn't on the building itself. That's my assumption of, of uh, well, my past experiences on it. So. Uh, this is going to cost us something. There's no way you have to make a decision here. Any way we go, it is going to cost us some money. Okay, and that's that's a fact. So, I, I would like to point out too that the city is currently paying about thirty thousand dollars a year for annual maintenance on this uh, complex, which is just keeping it in its current state. And um, which every is not in day the state that goes, it should be in. yes, so and every day that, that goes by, other systems are aging, and so we're going to be looking at system replacements like parking lot resurfacing, HVAC roofing, um, you know, other interior updates, depending on how long we hold on to these facilities. But I just want to make you aware of that, Joanne. So if we decided to get rid of them all, sell the corner, take the two hundred thousand to put towards. Mm -hmm. That still leaves us with a three hundred thousand dollar price tag. Just you know, that's not in our budget, is it? So where's the funding going to come from to do this? We would scope this out uh, in the next CIP update. So we would bring that forward as part of the CIP update with what that project looks like with a full scope and cost estimates to go with it. So we're not voting on this tonight. So I just have to have uh, some sign from you. Um, uh, to uh, go, let's start out with their recommendation. So I'm just going to look at you, and you just got to give me something. This is so silly, but the <laughs> state law set it up so we all have to be silly. So, um, so I'm looking. <laughs> I'm going to look around. If you all look at me, hello. <laughs> so just, uh, I'm just give me a hint. Uh, staying with what the recommendations from staff. Well, how about we start off with the corner? How about or the the western corner, facing yeah. piece? You know the uh, the western piece. The, the yes, the one by the, the one. Just on that western. section to begin with. Does everybody feel good about that? Yeah, all that. Selling that. Selling that. I think everybody was. Kind of I think everybody yeah. said that for okay. the whole thing. So that part's good. <laughs> The other part, though. All right, we're on the other <laughs> part. Yes, Sherry. I, I guess I have to see it scoped out to see what they said because at one point it said some green space, then I heard minimal green space, and so, and then I had world green space. I'd have to see it, I'd have to see kind of it scoped out what the plan would be a little bit more. Is that what everybody here thinks about them coming back? But I don't. I mean, I, I go with it totally. So, um, I know we want to see the full. The full plan but again what are we going to do with it we sell the building whoever's going to buy the building is going to be i would imagine very interested in whether there's going to be parking back there or not and if we're not committed to raising those buildings and putting parking lot back there we may not be able to sell the building well that he we said to see how much so we can see how much parking we can get back there yeah so you know in order to do that we have to we have to we're going to have to tear the buildings down. So I think to get even additional parking, and there's like nine places back there, or ten places in that in that row, what used to line up against the police department. 
So if, if that's all that the public parking is available and we leave these ratty buildings up, then what we really haven't done anything but, but sold a piece of property that is almost unusable. So I think we need to, and it's bizarre coming from me because I never, tr I never trust the staff and what they say, but I think we're going to have to, <laughs> I mean, no that, that's all I've been saying for two years is we got to be the deciders. But I think at, at this point we have to say, look, they've, um, maybe when you come back, come back with a, this is what, this is how it looks like it's going to lay down the night we vote, but. That, that's, that's what I need. I, I, I just need to say a little bit more because uh, the last thing I want, when you look at it, it's just a little tiny bit of green space, all parking lot looking into an alley. No one's going to go to a museum there. Then you've, got, then you've got another building that no one's going to go to. I think you have to w stop worrying about that and decide. You Are you going to spend the money refurbishing all these buildings? Or are you going to take them down? And you're getting into the semantics of all, well, it's parking safe here, and my person. The point is, we've got to look at this as a structure. Is it worth it to you to put the citizens' money back in refurbishing that with the hopes that somebody will rent it or buy it? Well, I, I, I guess I, I just, for me, it just seems like that neighborhood, we're just going to give them a parking lot. I guess that's where I have a problem, and it's not going to enhance their neighborhood at all. What you're saying More is asphalt. You think those buildings in that alleyway enhances the well, I want to see how they can enhance here. it to get the parking. And if we're going to keep that as a museum, that one is a museum, how is it going to flesh out? Because if it's all going to be asphalt, I just, I might be the one on this one. It might be 6-1 then, if that's the thing. Because I, I just got to see it. And that's... So I have a question. Yes, Molly. Um, I'd like to also know um, about the, the museum who's paying for it, who's running it, who's going to redo it, who's going to put the air conditioner in it. That's a huge expense. It's not just that we're going to bulldoze a bunch of buildings, and then we have this building that everyone wants to save for what and for whom, and is that going to go in the CIP as well? I'd just like to see a little bit more plan before we decide what we're going to do. I'm with Sherry. Could I touch on the green space for a minute? I, I didn't mean to misspeak, but really, we would bring that back as a project. You would have input into what you wanted to see there. Obviously, there's trade-offs uh, with cost and parking. Um, so you would have that ability to weigh in on that as we brought forward the CIP. But the, what we're looking for tonight is, is that direction we want to head? And if so, really, um, that would give us some direction towards planning to raise those that buildings. It doesn't have to stay pavement. It doesn't have to stay. It's just that you go along with this, uh, the recommendation about the number. Uh, if we're going back to the original conversation, um, the conversation was awful costly to take those buildings and revamp them and the problems that you're going to have with them without even knowing if, if you could sustain them after you do all the other. So, so we're getting into the kind of the... I know it's um, we're getting into the weeds on this one. <laughs> Sorry, I can't think of another expression. Uh, you either um, agree with uh, that the structure should be taken down or they should not be taken down. And if they're not going to be taken down, then you must find um, the money, which is going to be is, is expensive. And then the hopes that the renter We'll pay the money to help you profit from what we put into it. So there isn't a winning, there, there's nothing winning on this at all. It just cleans up the corner. And when I think of how um, the honey, Honeywell, is that Honeywell? I got the right name? No, it's not. Uh, what's our big manufacturer? Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin, thank you. I've only been in there a hundred <laughs> times. Um, how he's cleaned all of that up and what it looks like added grass, cleaned it up, it looks really good. Um, and when you look at that building, you stand on the corner and you turn around and you look at our buildings on that corner. It's not, it's not pleasant, it doesn't look good. I will say the boxing they fixed up there, so that looks really nice, but uh, we've got a long ways to go on the others. Yes, Joanne? I understand your feelings, Sherry. And um, so, for movement forward, so we can 
try to get somewhere with it. I would say get rid of the three buildings. I would say that um, the entire parking lot that's facing Litchfield Road right now, that was in front of the old city hall area, mm -hmm. that should be all green. Those trees should be saved. Where the, the corner, uh, I don't know what that building is, whatever that corner building is, once it's removed, that can be somewhat of still a green park area. To me, the biggest two areas of what would be parking is where those two middle buildings are. And, and it can be parking that has um, trees in it, where it's just like what we make um, commercial centers look like today, where we say you're in parking clusters and you have a tree. You have a parking cluster and you have a tree. You know, that library kind of feel parking lot, not necessarily this is just a blah parking lot, but you make it worthy of, you know, to those neighbors because, um, you know, we want this to enhance their look for their area too. And I, and I know your feeling of, of just a dead parking lot. And, it, and I think that we have um, instilled enough into commercial and office areas and apartment areas to make their parking lots look good. We should be following the same suit. Well, so. we would be following the same thing. We couldn't as a city take over that part and just do it like a bun big cement area because then other people are looking and said, well, I guess the city can do it. We can't do it. So I think we're getting to the point where we don't need to be worrying about that. We've seen what the city has done. We know our history. We know where we're going. We know when the other companies come, what we require. We will require that of ourselves. Well, this is a question, though, that I would ask. Since this isn't going to happen overnight, and this has to go into the CIP, and we have to figure out, I mean, we're only getting partial amount of money that it's going to take to do this whole thing. Because you said 500000 just to take them down, right? And put in the parking lot? And put and in a parking lot. Okay. But that All right. we That's need to add some green space costing in there, depending on as how big As you said, that is. it's 30000 a year right now just to maintain it. Correct. So my feeling is you don't remove those buildings until you're ready with the CIP to go in and, and finish the construction. You don't go and just bulldoze it down until you're absolutely ready to do the whole project, is that's how I see it. So it's not just laying there as a vacant dirt lot for a while until two years later we have enough money to be able to do it. I'm, I'm just saying, as you're planning, do it all at once. Don't do it just here. We've, we've taken the, the buildings down, and a year and a half later we're going to put in the park. And it, Don't do it that way. Yes, Sherry. Is the 30000 for just those three buildings, or is there an additional cost then for the one down there if it doesn't sell for a while? It's inclusive of both the blue okay, and so yellow Okay, so $30,000 is all four parcels. Okay, so if we could sell that one and then, okay. I didn't know if there was an additional, if that one sits for a while, because which very well could as well. And do we have to rehab that one before we can sell it? The uh, one in yellow? Yeah. Um, the, if you recall, that facility had some mold around uh, the restrooms and uh, drinking fountain area, and that mold was removed and remediated, but the walls probably just need to be restored because uh, at that time we weren't sure what we were doing, so there would be some minimal. How much would that be to fix that? To I don't have that in front of me. Oh, okay, it's a sellable quality. Okay. Yeah. But it's not a lot. We're not talking. Okay. Correct. And then uh, if I could go back to Joe. Uh, Councilmember Osborne, you had a you said tear down the three buildings. I just wanted to be clear on what you're suggesting because this is one building. These two rooftops together. I think of them as one, two, two three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Wally. Um, I just want to remind you, we've got a vacant lot across the street that has no green area. It's that shopping center, yeah. and it's vacant and it looks awful because it's it's. Um, empty. So, whatever we do I'm, would be better, I guess. But I agree with Councilwoman Osborne in saying let's not take the buildings down till we're ready to do something because you take them down, the neighborhood's going to be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting until we can afford to do whatever we're going to do. So, if, if we, but we can put the building if it's agreeable with everyone. We could sell the Western. Bi building we could put it up for sale immediately at the asking price of whatever they appraise it at and see if we get any bites at all and maybe that will help 
our direction as well. Because if it doesn't sell for a couple of two, three years, here we are. We're right back where we are now. Well, part of the reason they aren't selling is because they don't have enough parking lots. They don't have enough parking spaces around that area. That's just, yes. Brandon. Yeah, so I'm on board with staff's recommendation as long as we talk about it, with the parking specifics, as long as the parking lot that we're going to build doesn't look like the parking lot across the street with enough greenery. Yeah, you're saying what Joanne said yeah. about, yeah. I'm yeah. kind of bringing a couple together here. Yes, Bill. Is it possible, have you guys explored that building, the red roof on the right, which used to be the operations built right, that one right there. Can we tear that one down and leave the others standing to provide that visual appearance from Litchfield of there still being something there, but provide the parking necessary for someone who wants to buy? Can we do it without creating a hazard? You know what I'm saying? Can we tear one down and leave two standing? And Short answer is probably yes, although I don't have all the answers. There is some shared infrastructure on the site that would have to be looked at, but we could explore that for sure. We you, were, my, my, my thought is if, we're, if the sale of the building on Western is contingent upon there being parking in the rear and we, do, we decide to do nothing with the other buildings until we know what we're going to do, at least if we tear one of them down, in a piecemeal kind of a way, we get that one down, we at least provide an immediate parking solution for the buyer of that new building while we maintain the frontage appearance on Litchfield, at least to get us over the hurdle until we figure out what we want to do with the rest of it without, because we know it's part of it's going to be parking. Could we not do something in-house on a couple of drawings uh, to IT, produce something on a screen that shows different scenarios on this? gives us the space and the parking and put a couple trees here and there or I, I don't know how long that would take um, but you see these computer guys and they do some beautiful uh, pictures and things and it seems to me that we have the square footage because of the appraisal so could we have something like that if I may so yes we certainly could have some renderings done um, to bring that back and and I don't want to speak out of turn so I'm kind of looking over here but um, I heard if, her I saw her nod her head if you <laughs> if you recall we focused on a one-year CIP for fiscal year 19 and we have a CIP reserve right so we have some money set aside for future projects if the direction tonight is go ahead and move forward with selling the Western Avenue building and shown in yellow here and there's general interest in raising those three buildings as proposed, but it needs to end up looking nice, and council gets to decide what nice looks like. Um, staff could begin to work on selling the property, but also putting together the CIP request that would give you some options into how to deal with the back, the blue area. Um, so we could come back probably fairly short order with a, pro, a proposal and uh, you could authorize um, that project at that time. So just another, another option. Comment? Sherry? I, I'm, I'm okay. I, I think some rendering would help. I think that would also help because um, that's why I say if we take care of that one building and decide what the other ones I'm, I'm fine with that that gives some parking there and I think some visualization that would also I think help the neighborhood so they know they're not just going to get a lot there with one building but but when we're we're, we're selling the building um I, I don't know if that's something when we sell it do we reline or change that parking lot I'm just looking at I'm not an engineering expert but that just does not seem like a good use of space at all there so I I don't know you know you can see why they don't parking they got a big hole there where there's nothing that goes so I don't have a problem taking that building down so there's more parking so we can get that front one sold. You're looking at me. <laughs> well, if anybody in the uh, can discern what we've just said on this council, your your mayor is <laughs> your mayor is uh, not quite sure what the. Uh, uh, yes, Joe. What I heard, if I can recap, you know what Dan said is 
they're going to come back with some renderings of taking that down and what it could possibly look like. Then you have another look at it, I think, to keep hashing it out until he brings something back Thank that you. we can look at and give us. Because so, you've got a general idea. We want them down. It's just a matter of what's on there. Yeah. So we'll come back with some renderings and yeah, then we'll kick I'm it around and for. we'll kind of go from there. Yeah. All right. It's all Western. Thank you for agreeing. That's what I was asking for. So if we could just get that, then maybe bring this conversation back again and if we can have some consensus on how it's going to look. Okay? Do you want, uh, when they bring it back, do you want uh, the paper in, the yellow paper on the costing of the buildings and what it takes to be, bring the whole ball of wax back, okay? So. Um, so that they have that to look at because we were we were given the cost of this different things so if you just bring it all back so when the conversation is active they've got the fit numbers in front of them mayor if I can just make sure I understand the request so you want us when we come back to show the renderings of what that could look like with green yes. space and, and parking um, trying to make it as nice as possible and did you also want costing of other options like keeping the buildings rehabbed? Is that what you were asking for? Well, I'm going to ask council. No. Okay. Is that a, is, are you all agreement on that one? No. Yeah, I got outvoted on that one. So I have to all right, you're giving it. that up now. We, <laughs> we did have one that wanted that. Okay, so we don't need that then. Okay, so just a rendering of what it could be, taking one billing out or taking two buildings out, show a couple dollars. Great. Yes, Bill. Are we doing another work session? Are we going to bring that back where we can actually take action on it? I'd recommend bringing it back as an action item if council's comfortable with that. I believe there's consensus yes, on the selling of the property. Yes, I think we've had enough discussion we'll... on this. I think we'd be ready for that. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Um, okay, council. Does anybody want to report any uh, your events or things that you've done this week? Very quickly. No. Okay. Then I'm going to. Uh, adjourn this meeting and then we're going to go into a special meeting. So this work session is adjourned. Now I'd like to open the special meeting agenda, May 7th.